direct view storage tubes that's dvst the dvst display devices are similar as of the crt devices but the only difference here is the image displayed on the screen first get stored into the storage grid and there's a layer behind the screen and that's why it's called dvst because it directly stores the view and thus the picture drawn on the screen will be seen for several minutes usually 40 to 50 minutes and before getting fade and due to this reason dvst didn't require any sort of refreshing so now we will look at the whole process of working that how it works basically the dvst consists of the uh, following elements uh, it has some guns the primary gun and then we have the then it has the flood gun primary gun basically generates the positive recharge beam and flood gun generates the negatively electron beam all over the collector then it has a collector uh, which um, collects or repels some charges or we can say that reduces the speed of these negatively charged electron and don't worry i will explain everything in brief then it has a storage grid that's also called as storage mesh it actually store the image the actual writing or drawing of the image happens here then it has a screen so now um, looking one by one fine what happens here and the primary beam that's a uh, primary gun generates the positively charged beam that is uh, primary beam this beam with the help of this beam it writes the image on the storage grid storage grid itself contains a negative charge so upon those negative charge uh, the image is being drawn with the help of the positively distribution charge and um, this can be anything suppose uh, here it has uh, written the n and then flood beam flood beam or the uh, negatively charged electron beam these beams strike all over the collector with the high speed but collector itself uh, is of the negative charge distribution so it repels those beams and only those beams uh, would be able to pass which get attracted with the positive charge of this image and their speed will be reduced obviously but uh, still they have some speed and with that speed they push this image onto the screen and the image get displayed on screen the speed will be uh, very slow here but uh, still in order to slightly accelerate and them in the last phase of the journey um, a positively charged aluminium coating is uh, done just behind the screen so here uh, it is a complete process that how dvst work but the problem arises when we have to erase or remove or we can say that the delete uh, the image or any part of the image so the only way we can do it is uh, to just apply the positive charge to this storage grid and this will uh, remove all the uh, charges neutralize all the charges and image get uh, away image get deleted but the problem here arises here is that it causes or it produces some uh, momentary flashes and that is weird or unpleasant uh, to the viewer so the only way is left that we have to neutralize all the intermediate screens so that's a little bit uh, hectic or complex task uh, so that's why deleting or erasing anything uh, from the dvst is uh, quite difficult and then another thing is that it didn't have um, so many colors choices now let's talk about some advantages and disadvantages the first advantage is that uh, it does not require any refreshing yes obviously it doesn't require any refreshing because we already stated that image gets stored into the storage grid so there is no need for the refreshing so then the second is that uh, they display the complex picture as an uh, at a high resolution without any flickering yes obviously uh, it display the pictures without any flickering because the main reason behind the flickering is the low refresh rate and here we didn't require any refresh rate the picture itself gets stored first and then displayed so the third thing is that no use of frame buffer and refresh buffer yes we didn't require any frame buffer or refresh buffer these sort of the memory areas because the image gets stored into in the storage grid so that is the one of the best advantage then it has some disadvantages not used for the dynamic and graphics such as animation yes uh, because for the animations we have to keep uh, 
move the image and we have to make sure that some part of the image get erased and the new part of the image come into the existence so in that very thing we have to keep uh, the image in the motion with the proper smoothness uh, and um, accuracy so in that very scenario it is very difficult to uh, charge and discharge the uh, intermediate screens the system does not uh, display the colors yes this system doesn't display any sort of uh, colors because of the fact that uh, we have to deal with the charges so we are not having the color choices likewise we are having in the uh, shadow mask technique or the beam penetration to erase a selected part of an image the entire screen needs to be erased and modified the picture yes uh, if we have to delete uh, any part of the picture or erase any part of the picture we have to uh, erase the whole uh, screen and even we have to erase all the screens and we have to neutralize them so this is uh, uh, one of the difficult job for it so that is it thank you